depression or what we term major depressive disorder there's, is an identifiable and treatable illness. So there are a number of symptoms that uh, different people may experience unique to their own illness. So somebody having mild symptoms would usually have, you know, feeling of sadness, lack of interest or pleasure, and usually one or two other symptoms. Whereas people with more moderate or severe would have more symptoms and more, they would experience them more intensely and they would affect their lives to a, a greater degree. Biological symptoms which are, you know, difficulty sleeping, loss of appetite, uh, low energy or motivation. Some also people experience some probably called cognitive symptoms, so difficulty thinking clearly, concentrating, making decisions, and some people may also experience suicidal thoughts. I think it's fantastic that there is a growing conversation around the role of, of, of mental health. Uh, mental health is, is the state of mind of a person in which they are able to you know, conduct their day, daily lives, they're able to get on with, their, with their, their role in life and in their communities. Mental illness are, um, are identifiable and treatable conditions where a person's thinking, uh, emotions and behaviour are uh, affected. My experience of treating people with depression over many years is that it's a very much a treatable illness and the earlier a person presents for treatment, the, the, the better the outcome can be. And even people with very severe illnesses where the person may feel they will never get better, actually the, um, the response to treatment is actually very good. It can be difficult to, to, to ask for help and that's where you know, information like in the little book of Big Conversations can, be, can give you know, useful tips and advice where people who know you well, like a friend or a family member, can help to guide you in, in the right direction. Thank you.